Hello, good people, how are you all doing? It's been a minute and uh, I hope you're all keeping safe. Thank you for 263. Yay! We're doing good. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. For those who've been with me all along, Asante Sana. And uh, today on Mwaja's Recipes, we have chocolate chip cookies. And um, uh, this is just one of the recipes I'm going to do as I start to share a number of snacks you can use for tea any time of day, whether it's breakfast or tea in the afternoon or tea uh, mid-morning. This will be amazing for you and you can also take the cookies with juice. So let's see what I have on the ingredients and we will get on from there. For those who haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. This little red button down here, there's a bell next to it, click the bell as well so that anytime I'm uploading a video, you get a heads up and you do not miss out on any of my recipes. For the ingredients, I have three cups of all-purpose flour and uh, it's chocolate chip cookies. So we have half a cup of chocolate chips, then I have one teaspoon of baking soda, a third of a cup of brown sugar, half a cup granulated sugar or white sugar, a cup of melted butter, a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I have two eggs and then we are gonna get some cinnamon from here, just a teaspoon of it. And uh, this recipe calls for uh, salt, but I'm using salted butter so that's why I'm not going to include the salt. But the best butter to use is unsalted. So if you have unsalted butter, please do. And if you're using unsalted butter, you will have to add a teaspoon of salt to your dry ingredients. So let's just get on to the first bit of our cookies preparation. So I'm going to add our baking soda to the flour. Then I'll just mix this up that way and I'll set it aside. Then now into our mixing bowl over here. I'm gonna add the brown sugar. I'm gonna add the white sugar. And then we're gonna add our melted butter. So we're gonna mix this until the sugar is fully salt there we are this is how it looks you notice the brown sugar does not fully melt but that's why I'm using it and uh, it's very amazing it's healthy it has a lot more molasses in it and uh, it will just melt nicely into the cookie as it cooks and as you test it you tend to just feel a difference when you just use granulated sugar so now I'll go in with our vanilla essence and just mix that up again. Then we're gonna mix in the first egg and we'll mix that up nicely. You notice something is happening. Our mixture is getting thicker. Then we'll beat in the next egg. You need your egg to be fully mixed in and nicely beaten so that it does not affect the end result. You don't beat them well, you have an after smile of the egg in the final product. There, look at our mixture, looking all nicely thick. And then I'm gonna add here a teaspoon of the cinnamon and uh, as opposed to adding it to the flour I want it to fully incorporate in the whole cookie nicely and uh, it's proven when it dissolves in the wet mixture it will turn out well then I'm just gonna mix it up and then we're going to add our mixture of baking soda and flour gradually as we mix up maybe in 
two or three batches and we are just going to mix it up. But we do not worry about the flour on the side. We will take care of it as we fold in the chocolate chips in the last bit. At this point, we are going to let go of the whisk and use a spatula to mix this up nicely. This is the consistency we are looking for. Then we are just going to go in with the chocolate chips. I believe some. You will see what I will do with them as we go on. Hold them in nicely. So that at the end of it, on each cookie, we have a chocolate chip in it. Great. So the cookie dough is ready. I'm just mixing up further with my hands. But it's okay. There. Here we are. Our cookie dough pretty ready. So I'll just take you through the next bit to line our tray with baking pepper or parchment pepper. I buy my baking pepper at Kapo or ShopRite and uh, if you have around 300 Kenya shillings you'll be able to get your baking pepper. So we just spread this here. It's grease proof so it's very perfect for this recipe. To preheat our oven at 180 degrees for just a few minutes and uh, I'll just have my heat coming from the bottom there I'll just put a little flour here not so much very little then we're gonna get our cookie dough. I'll get part of it first. There. And then we are gonna roll this out. So slowly, you know, cookie dough is not the same as uh, any other, like chapati, mandazi. Uh, donuts or it's, it's very soft actually the best way would be to just scoop and uh, press on your baking tray but I just find this amazing as well because I have some very nice cookie cutters here i have a hard shaped a round one and a star shaped which we are going to use to cut out our cookies and they just tend to look very nice they are uh, great so that's how that will go then i'm gonna pick them and place them on our parchment paper then we get on from there i'll do the same for the rest and the remaining ones i'll just try to shape them out with my hands that's how i'm placing them on the baking tray because they need space to cook nicely so you don't crowd them So here we are and I'm just going to add a few chips on each. You don't have to do this but I just want some to appear out in the open so I'll just add a few. So we're gonna put these babes in the oven. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm loving the aroma in my kitchen right now. We're gonna put them in the oven 
and when you're baking the middle rack or lower rack are the best to get a nice crust at the bottom so for this I'm gonna have them on the middle rack right there we're gonna bake for 10 to 15 minutes and uh, that's at 180 degrees and my heat is evenly distributed so but you can do heat from the bottom depending on your oven going to check on our cookies yay and the aroma coming out of this people the aroma y'all y'all look at that look at that people yes so for the cookies for you to know they are ready the sides will have ground and uh, the center will still be very soft as you get them out of the oven so we're just gonna get this off put them on a rack and uh, deal with the remaining dough these are ready here we are our chocolate chip cookies looking all nice brown served with a cup of white tea just amazing yes the dark brown sugar has done its job go on and try it out let me know how it turns out and uh, share this with your friends with your family with your friends friends ask them to subscribe to my channel ask them to try out my recipes and i'll be waiting for that feedback check out my facebook page Mwanji's recipes and my instagram page Mwanji's recipes as well you can always get a written recipe bye bye i love you all